interesting. All right, so we got Lucina, pink, Falco. That's not purple. That's something else. Hmm. Oh God, this song does not match the stage like at all. So it just makes me go, why? Yeah, there it is. All right, let me just quickly tweet out the match. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Pretty all right. So, uh, you see the game? Yeah. Oh. All right. It's awesome. a little bit um weird. Yeah, okay. Discord can be like that. Anyway, so we got game one happening. Uh, EQ with a pretty big lead right now. Uh, already putting Monkey... Oh, right. yeah, hey. taking that first stock. And 54%. Yeah. Oh, so quick. So, but Lucina, you don't see this matchup too often, especially at Zeno. How, yeah, how, no. how many percent have you seen this matchup? Yeah, no, uh, I haven't really seen too many Falcos, like, uh, entering, like, Xeno Wi-Fi. Oh. And then, like... You know, even offline, uh, Falco was a bit of a rarity. Or at least, you know, like, uh, outside of, like, Helper, who's usually, like, TOing, so he couldn't really enter. Mm -hmm. We didn't really see, like, too many, like, like upper echelon Falco play. So, you know, uh, EQ already, like, you know, making it the winner's quarters, uh, upsetting Nick C. Oh, my God. What a disgusting lead. Oh, no. Still at 69%. Nice. Too... LOL. Wow. He's not lead. Yeah. And only 69%. This is this is kind of crazy. Yeah. We love to see this um nice Falco play. Yeah, uh, for sure. You know, he's just kind of just going through what he has to do. He, he just knows. He's definitely, like, keeping things safe and just kind of keeping that pattern uh, hard to read. He doesn't know, you know, Monkey's really struggling to get in uh, and just trying to, like, make something solid happen. Only dealing 89%. I would suggest maybe stop only looking for up B out of shield. Uh, he clearly is respecting your shield, so <laughs> yeah. Might be time to switch up just a little bit. Just a bit. Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a nice? Three? Oh my god! And dang, didn't even get the counter. Yeah, you saw the way he oh. angled the uh, the up B was actually uh, really perfect to evade the candle. But finally, gonna lose that first stock. But boy, oh boy, is this work count uh, cut out for him? You know, EQ is such a good big lead. What can uh, Monkey was, Ben Q really still do? Still two stock. A two stock is very possible. Yeah, it, I, and yeah. I think we're and it's a JV three actually. Oh, no, Woo! That was that was spicy. Yeah. Had to put a, a little sauce on that um, chicken right there. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Yeah, this bird definitely has some rosemary, some paprika. <laughs> Oh. Well, oh, yeah. I was. I mean, I was kind of just gonna assume that you know this matchup might be just a little bit hard because, you know, especially on Wi-Fi, you know, you have to deal with a uh, blaster that like is kind of just it stops you. Like you, whenever you're in neutral, it kind of just stops you every like five seconds. It's just a quick little check whenever you know Falco feels me to. So I can see how that could kind of be hard for Lucina to get in, especially mm -hmm. in this matchup. Which I think she, like, in general, she has a hard time, like, getting in against a lot of characters. Oh my god, that up B was so good. Ooh. Alright, so let's see where we're going to next. So, uh, they're staying in their characters. Um, Alright, uh, town and city. Alright, uh, you know, first blood, uh... Or I guess the first hit uh, by EQ. Let's see if Monkey's able to keep it a little bit more even this time around. Yeah, and uh, so far so good. Succeeding at that, taking a bit of a lead here. Maybe all that was data. Maybe we're gonna see the ultimate download. Mm -hmm. He's like, this was your roots. Ha -ha. Maybe he, maybe he, he, he just knew what he needs to do to get better. Yeah. At least I hope. I would honestly like to see him start like spacing a little bit more because he has a big sword. Yeah, I so definitely I take mean, advantage of that like, disjoint. <laughs> <you bit. laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, like that's kind of like the thing in this matchup because Falco just like he can't really contest against like this. I mean, he can't, but I feel like it'd be a little, really hard, especially with Athena just like being better than Mark. 
like just a better version of Mark. Yeah, now we see like, you know, uh, now that the fact that it's like, ooh, okay, I was going to oh, say because it's going kind of even, but Monkey had like the percent lead that he was able to like try and play more like uh, bait and punish and play that keep away. But now, you know, he's going to be in a very similar situation that he should be used to from the last game. So hopefully he's able to switch up those roots. You know, we, we already saw that it was a little bit more even, but, you know, this is where the true test, where you're able to secure that kill without, like, leaving yourself open too much uh, because you need to get that stock even up. Yeah, just leaving, like, all of these, like, he, he's having a lot of, like, very defensive options, it looks like, whenever he's just, like, being pressured and Alco's not really doing much to be pressured. Yeah, and yeah, so Monkey uh, able to get that kill, you know, just kind of hanging back at the right uh, right spot for that edge guard and caught with, like, the late hit of forward tilt. Uh, so evening up these stocks. Now if he can try and turn it around like he did at the beginning of the match by taking that, like, uh, early percent lead, uh, you know, we can see some... Some better plays. Definitely already a step up from the last game. So uh, my man's either uh, has the adaptation down or is operating on plan B. <laughs> uh. Still Very nice. Yeah. Still doing some stuff that's a little bit unsafe. And EQ definitely going to be capitalizing on that. My man definitely knows how to handle Falco. So uh, it's really putting her through the ringer there. Whoop. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Uh, I mean, nice ledge slapping going on. Getting edge guard. I think that run uh, counter was supposed to be run off counter because, like, obviously oh. there was no point to just do counter at that, mm -hmm. like, spot. So, a little unfortunate, but okay. Up the other shield. Okay. Finally going to actually land, but not going <laughs> to result in any sort of kill. All right. Good position here. Okay. If you can definitely land a <gasps> kill from this. Let's tap. I mean, there we go. Now all he needs to do is just, you know, kind of make this like it's his last. Well, it is technically almost his last game if he can make yep. it back. Just trying to play as safe as he can before he can um just potentially die from even like a like get going off stage one. So at this point, everything is crucial. Yeah, EQ and still, hasn't been touched. Yeah. Are we going to see another JV? It might not be a JV3, but... <laughs> Bro, you know when you, like, when you see them, like, go extra low and they're just hanging and pressing no button? My man's just contemplating life. He's like, how am I going to make this comeback? <laughs> you know, that's the, like, do I just want to SD right here and just end the pain? And then you just, you make it back and you're just like, oh, okay, let's try. I mean, <laughs> it's never over until it's over. He already did 54%. That's fast. 54%. Oh, yep. just, ooh, ooh, ooh. You know. oh, oh, all right. Oh this is a really Maybe good situation now. Okay, careful. Careful. Uh-oh. Oh. All right. Yeah, nothing going to be able to combo with this percent. So this actually might be a savings grace. Because if he's able to avoid the like regular kill moves, that, you know, if he's... All right. Okay, oh. cool. Not the... And he's still alive. Oh, wow. He needs to be extra careful okay. now before he can die, literally. I'm pretty sure Falco <sighs> can dab him, and then he's just going to die. Tried to get the counter on that uh, Phantasm. Oh, no! All right. EQ kind of flubbing the punish Maybe there. Just wait a little bit there. <gasps> okay, this is super anyone's game. Oh, and it is Fire. Monkey's game. Wow, what a comeback. And that was such a nice comeback from Monkey. God now, all damn. he needs to really do is just fix up his play a little bit because, you know, he could definitely could have had that, um, you know, very quickly or not quickly, but he could have had that more convincingly if he would have just, you know, kind of stayed patient and played a lot more, you know, using his sword that he has. So instead of just being yeah. very unsafe. So something I, I like, I, I don't want to like, you know, good stuff to monkey with make, making the comeback, but I kind of feel like EQ... Maybe got a little bit too comfortable and kind of fell asleep at the wheel. Um, you know, mm -hmm. EQ definitely made uh, so, not EQ. Uh, Monkey definitely made adjustments, and you know, we definitely saw a much more even game. But you know, he's like, there's like some plays where you just see like EQ just kind of like just standing there, being like, you know, uh, he's like, well, I'm gonna just let you hang yourself, I guess, because it kind of worked out before. So 
Uh, we're really going to see, you know, if he gets that wake-up call. Uh, especially with the fact that, like, you know, Monkey was hanging I don't remember, at, like, super high percent the entire stock. And I think he was just waiting for the kill to happen. But then, like, Monkey was able to execute. Anyway, we are going to be going back to Battlefield. And, uh, yeah. So, let's see. You know. Uh, Very interesting choice. Yeah, I mean, I this mean, is where we saw EQ kind of open up Monkey uh, game one. So, let's see. This is, you know, the culmination of those last two games. So, we definitely know that Monkey was able to make an adjustment past game one. And, uh, and you know, if what I said is true about EQ, like, maybe my man's going to wake up a bit. I definitely feel like now that he kind of just got his footing, he's probably going to be trying to edge guard a little bit better because of how... Battlefield um, last zone, where, you know, there's a lot of like space on the stage, so I'm that is gonna be that. That's wow. a, yeah, that that's a really good position for you there. Yeah, that's the scary thing about getting hit by like those multi hits um, by like Firebird is just the fact that you know he he snapped, so the last hit never hit, and so the tiny hits was like you don't know how to tech that. Like, what is the timing for that? The, you're expecting the move to end. It's such a bad situation. So, yeah, now even percent, but, you know, we got full stock lead. Definitely still using his up B a lot more, and the wow, very nice way on that tech chase. Okay. Just letting him come to the up tilt. Yeah, I, I think what's uh, kind of, I guess, what's alluring to the up B out of shield is the fact that, like, it is Battlefield, so, like... If he wants, you can have Lucina like up be straight to the top platform. But like, you know, we're not we're not seeing like the punishes that we want to see. So you know, like, yeah, he's not really getting much. Like, he's. I feel like he's trying to use it. Monkey's trying to use it to kind of punish um, EQ for um, pun um, whiffing on him. Yeah, he, but I mean, he's really using it more. All, he's using like, it more oh, like a gimmick rather than a tool. So, like, once EQ saw how he was using it, he's like, okay, I can avoid this. And if I get hit by it, I'll get hit by it in positions where I don't die. And now we're literally seeing, like, uh, an almost repeat of game one where it's three stocks to one uh, EQ's favor. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can see a comeback for Monkey. I mean, definitely unlikely, but there's always hope. And maybe not if he's <laughs> gonna keep on swinging very unpoorly and. Ooh. Oh, Mare. I was expecting um, forward air, but that also works too. Okay. Sending him back off stage. I think there's a nice luck trapping going on. Oh. I, I feel Very like nice from Monkey kind of just like took too long to adjust to the battlefield play. Like maybe, you know, maybe he got a full sense oh. of security and oh my god, yeah, oh. three stock by EQ. He kind of got messed up there by the end, kind of flubbed it. Oh. EQ's gonna move on. Uh, two one, and honestly, based on how that goes, I think my man's fell asleep game two, and it was just like, oh right, let me uh win the set, I guess. <laughs> yeah, maybe, just maybe, yeah, like just a bit. It, it, it'll happen eventually. Yeah, yeah, monkey. Uh, if you're watching, I definitely recommend uh, hitting up the the vod. That whoops, right, it's a three second only three replays. Hitting up the vod. Uh, check it out. If in case you have to rematch him in this tournament, I know you can make the the run back. Uh, go for Anything it. Anything is possible so, with hard work and dedication. Absolutely. So, how um who's who's next? Let me pull up. This. I I have all of my data for like my stuff. I have all of the frame data, but I don't have the actual like 